you might want to rethink your plans if you were hoping to purchase the RTX 4090 Ti GPU in the near future, because reportedly Nvidia is completely canceling their most powerful GPU ever conceived. Why is Nvidia ditching the 4090 Ti? Stay tuned to find out. Let's take a look at just how large and powerful the 4090 Ti actually was going to be before we get into the actual reasons of why it was canceled. Nvidia unveiled its RTX 40 series GPUs around the end of last month as an improvement over the 30 series lineup that was introduced back in 2020. The company only revealed two cards that would be included in this new lineup. These were the 4090 and the two different iterations of the RTX 4080. Just to put into perspective of how powerful the 4090 Ti would have been, these are the specs for just the 4090. We're not even talking about the 4090 Ti here, we're talking about just the 4090. The 4090 comes with an AD102300 GPU, 16384 CUDA cores, and a boost clock speed of up to 2.52 GHz. Nvidia claims that it has single precision performance of 82.6 teraflops, which is 2.3 times more than the 3090. In addition, the card is rated default TDP of 450 watts and can come with as much as 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM already installed. But the 4090 Ti is miles above that. The Nvidia GeForce RTX 4090 Ti is said to be a partially cut die with just two of the 144 SMs disabled for a total of 18,176 CUDA cores. The plan for this GPU originally was to have an incredible total of 224 render output units and 96 megabytes of L2 cache. The TSMC 4 nanometer process node will continue to be used by this card and it will significantly increase clock speeds, with the card being rated at 2.7 GHz and reaching up to 2.95 or even 3 GHz boost clock speeds when subjected to typical gaming workloads. That's a 190 MHz increase in the default clocks. In terms of memory capabilities, it was anticipated that the RTX 4090 would feature 24 gigs of GDDR6 memory and will operate at speeds of up to 24 gigabytes and will be accessible via a 384-bit bus interface. This was to provide a bandwidth of up to 1,152 terabytes per second. Now all these improved features resulted in higher power demand, and it was anticipated that the flagship would operate a thermal design power of approximately 600 watts, which is absolutely nuts. It is said that the card has a TGP of 475 watts, which is an increase of 25 watts compared to the regular 4090. However, custom variants may once again push the higher up into the range of 600 plus watts of power consumption. The GPU is already claimed to have roughly 10 to 20% greater performance than that of the regular 4090. So that could surely approach or even surpass two times the performance number over the 3090 Ti, which is extremely astounding. In terms of gaming performance, we're looking at a 10 to 20% improvement with ray trace titles, maybe even extending to the lead of 25 or even 30%. Nvidia intended to keep this beast under wraps until AMD has a credible opponent in the RDNA 3 Radeon RX 7000 series. But that might not happen anytime soon because Nvidia has ditched the 4090 Ti. So why won't this GPU come anytime soon? Nvidia has apparently paused the development of the anticipated 4090 Ti GPU indefinitely, indicating that we might not see it in the light of day anytime soon. Moore's Law is Dead, a highly regarded source for GPU news, recently published a video in which it stated that it's highly likely Nvidia's rumored 4090 Ti was likely to have been released as the RTX Titan Ada. However, its development was halted not too long ago for various reasons, including the fact that it consumed enormous power. The channel cites a credible source claiming that the card measured a massive TDP of 600 to 700 total watts and comes with twin 16 pin power connectors. This means the 4090 Ti would not only put a dent in your savings, but it would also melt your PCU power and could even burn your house down if you're not careful. In addition, the card, which would use the full AD102 chip rather than the reduced version found with the regular 4090, is said to use up to four slots on the motherboard. It's so large that the folks at Nvidia would reportedly mount the motherboard onto the card instead of you doing it yourself. RTX Titan Ada not launching anytime soon. Despite the 4090 Ti probably being the most powerful GPU ever conceived, it has just too much power draw. 600 to 700 watts is obviously ridiculous for the average PC gamer, and in some tests and environments, the GPU is actually melting itself, which is a very dangerous fire hazard. While the issues mentioned earlier are preventing Nvidia from going ahead with the launch of this new card, the company may also be waiting for the availability of GDDR6 VRAM capable of reaching 27GB per second, 
before moving any further with its development. The company could also be waiting for GDD R7 to be used with this new card. Whatever the reason for the delay is, prospective buyers would be hoping that Nvidia sorts out all of the lingering issues before coming out with the RTX Titan Ada. Therefore, it would appear that the 49 Ti, or Titan Ada, will not be released anytime soon. At least not before Nvidia finds a solution to these massive problems. But will this time be worth waiting for? Currently, we can't see the appeal of this super expensive and powerful 4090 Ti. The regular 4090 offers far more power than most gamers need right now, so an even more powerful GPU wouldn't make much sense for most people. If this upcoming GPU isn't RTX Titan, however, there is more of a reason for it to exist because of its enterprise and creative uses. But no business will want to invest in a GPU that ends up melting. We'd love to see companies like Nvidia be ambitious, but it also needs to keep the user's needs in mind as well. A competitive GPU market. Nvidia now faces competition from a greater number of companies as a result of Intel's entry into the mid-level GPU market. Nvidia needs to sell high-performance GPUs at prices that consumers can't afford, particularly in the entry-level market segment, if it wants to continue to exist in the market and even grow in it. It appears that the recently released ARC A770 from Intel can deliver superior performance to the RTX 3060. It is fascinating that Intel, which is a relatively new participant in the GPU game, can really match the price to performance ratio of a brand that has been in this business producing GPUs for decades. PC gamers have shown an increased interest in RTX features in recent years, particularly due to the fact that RTX advancements boost both gameplay and graphics. Nvidia's deep learning super sampling software, which increases game performance by employing AI and enables gamers to play games on high graphical settings without sacrificing frame rates has been updated and included in multiple titles in recent patches. PC players are notorious for their tendency to test their limits of gaming performance, and the RTX 4090 Ti would have been a very popular choice among those gamers who yearn for high-end 4K gaming with live streaming capabilities. It is apparent that Nvidia intended for the RTX 4090 Ti to redefine GPU power entirely. But if these allegations are genuine, it is possible that gamers will have to wait quite some time before we see the technology running safely and functionally. The 4090 Ti would have been arguably the most revolutionary card ever released because this would completely redefine gaming as we know it. A card this powerful with the possibility of melting itself is absolutely crazy on any scale. Do you guys think they should have actually released the 4090 Ti and see how it did, even if it was unsafe, or is it a smarter decision for them to hold it back and see if they can make it a little bit better? Let us know in the comments down below what you think. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below any other video ideas or topics that we should cover in the near future. If you did not like today's video, please leave a dislike and comment down below what we can do to improve and be more accurate with our information. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I love you all. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out.